Hi, this is Natalie from Nine Arrow from the Netherlands, and I'm here with a little craft with me video. Um, I started making these little. Well, I started off with this one. This one is made from tracing paper, and I decorated it with book pages and uh, little bits and pieces from the Books and Botanical kit. This is kind of hashtag LDA Books and Botanical challenge related, although the challenges are already done, and I do know. Uh, I need to do the winner's drawing. I'm I'm aware of that. And there is going to be one very, very soon. But um, because of this one, I started making like a book page envelope bags. I think it's more like an envelope. And decorated them. And I think these are cute. <laughs> and um, yeah. I um, also folded a few, not this one, these two from tracing paper, uh, the same paper that I use for this one. And uh, some of you would like to see me decorate these two. I even made a larger one um, by gluing uh, two sheets together. And I didn't glue it very well because it was just a prototype of a thinking of this is this is cute too. You can put in like a large tag and decorate on the front, which I would love to do because I have pieces left from the um, um I don't know the name of the kit anymore. That's really terrible. It's a slimline kit. I don't think it's the, the latest one. I'm not sure anymore. No, the one before. Well, I will check for you. It's so um, annoying that I don't know the names of the kids anymore. Um, it's on my desk for a while. So that's why I don't know. And I also created this one from... Um, we call it chalk paper. It's like vellum, but it's sort of different. And instead of using... Uh, this glue, the articulated glue, I just used like this. Um, and I once had a Uhu uh, stick. Uh, it actually looks the same, only this look. It says Uhu and uh, Ronda. Ronda sent it to me. Um, and I really enjoyed working with those uh, glue sticks. I had two. But this is, to me, sort of similar so I uh, glued this one with this one and this one too hoping it would not do uh, too much of the especially this one is showing it's, it's very crinkly um, on the other hand um, it looks like it is aged and old so it's kind of fun um, but yeah I'm really in the mood to decorate this one um, so I didn't glue it down very well because I didn't even glue this together. And maybe I can do that now. Just try to put some glue <laughs> the best way I can. Obviously, it's not everywhere. Or, oh, maybe I can do that. Let me show you how to create a larger one. I have two sheets of tracing um, paper. The tricky thing is, once you put glue on here, it starts to curl. You see? So it's very difficult to glue. It's curling immediately because it's um, wet it's a water based glue so so and then you can 
card folding and you can um, make it as big as you want of course I, did, I believe I did something like this do this over here or fold it this way this is going to be Maybe I need to do it like no, I am going to do it like this. I was thinking if I put this on the front I can decorate over this um these two parts together. The same over here. Yeah, we're going to do it like this. This is going to be the bottom and this is going to be the top. Although, yeah, it's going to be. And then I use this pair of scissors. Also for this edge. And then do the folding inwards again. You fold this into this crease, this one into this crease. And what I did was cut off this piece and this piece. Because I didn't like the huge uh, flappy thingies. If you can see through the through the envelope paper bag. So I cut these. So you are going to glue this down like so Not very well over here so and then you can fold it inwards like so Do this okay this is this is this is different you see <laughs> um maybe I should do it like so yeah I think that's better so this is going to be the closure part uh, actually the back side because we are going to decorate on this side not um I didn't glue everything down yet because I wanted to try something. I think this one is slightly smaller. Yeah, that's a good thing. So, um, I want to make like an edge on here too. Don't cut until here, but cut until the crease. Otherwise you will ruin your flappy thingy. So you keep this piece so you can, otherwise you have this, well, you can cut it off because you have this over, but I think this is, this is better than you have the layers everywhere. I do believe it's a little bit long, so I'm going to take down Take off, take down. It was a long day today. Take off this strip. 
So this is actually your base. The only downsize, downsize, the only downside on this is this is not very sturdy. So I'm just thinking maybe I can put something in. And there are two options actually. You can create something to glue in here, or I just think of that now. You can use a book page, glue it in here. It's a little bit too short. So I thought, and you have this also. Um, and you put something in. Not sure if it makes sense what I'm saying. Let's go for the tracing paper. Change of plan. And like I said, this is a craft with me, not a tutorial. So things go wrong. Uh, or maybe not. But I'm just trying to create something fun and something I never done before. I believe it's a little bit more sturdy now. Yeah. So this goes this way, this goes this way. We fold this as the bottom half, and this is going to be our closure. The only thing I don't like is this is a little bit too high and I believe I have it on this side too. Yeah, I do. Now, now it's okay. So we have this. So was this way because I had the edge over here. So now I'm going to do some inking. Um, maybe I can do this off camera so you don't have to see me ink the whole thing i i think you get uh, you know how i'm going to ink so i did all the inking and i also inked uh, these three edges because when you glue it down which you can see but it's 
like layered and I like that so yeah there's a little bit of ink over here but I don't mind um, I'm not gluing it down yet because maybe I do want to sew over the edges I'm not sure yet yeah I'm going to sew let's do some sewing I did sew around the envelope uh, the only side I didn't sew on was this side uh, I did sew this together already, so I have to glue this down. Otherwise, um, it will not be closed. It's, it's not the easiest way, but you can you can glue this way. It is doable. <laughs> And I do have to say, it feels rather sturdy this way. So I do like, um, I do like these. Thinking I should put like some of the thingies on here to make sure it stays glued down. Yeah, this is sort of sturdy it's not the most sturdy thing i ever done but it is sturdy enough um so yeah i, I really like this yeah it is fun still debating whether i should have sewn over here too maybe that would be fun too but i can't do that now maybe in the next one if i make the next one um, so let's put on some decorative papers, something fun. Um, I have these, still don't know which kit they are, <laughs> um, but I also have a lot of scraps uh, floating around and a lot of book pages. So maybe, maybe I can use... I also have these. I really like these. I think these are pretty. And at the same time, I think it's a waste to, to glue it onto this envelope. Well, maybe I'm going to use these. Uh, where are they? The more brittle pages. Maybe I can do that. Yeah. One of these. I think I want this in the front. And you should probably uh, turn these up the other way around. So do it like this. And don't, don't, um, I'm trying to speak Dutch. And then tear. <laughs> Sorry. But I'm, I'm doing it this way. So I have, well, a little bit more control and it's not that perfect. So, 
We have this. Let's grab some images. So oh, I have this one. I really like this image. And I already started cutting um, this side. That's not straight. Like this. And I also have this uh, floating around. And I really like this. Oh. And this is just a book page that is um, embossed. So you have the pattern and also did some embossing powder, which totally failed <laughs> because it's everywhere. But I do like this. So yeah, I, I kept it. And I put it on little things when I'm working in journals. Maybe this is better. Yeah, I think it is. Also want to add just a little bit of lace. Just because I can. Lace over here. It's going to be like so. I also have this fabric. And I was thinking maybe I could add this behind like so. I have this over. Maybe this piece can go underneath. I'm just laying it out. I'm not going to glue anything down because I'm not sure which part I am going to glue or I'm going to sew. And yeah, there's a chance when I am going to glue it down, it's not on the same spot. I don't mind. <laughs> But that's if you're not uh, good at putting it back and you think this is the right way to put it, make a picture. And when you start gluing down, uh, you can have the picture on your phone and put it down the same way as you did before. I also like this image a lot. Do I have larger? Pieces. Oh, I also have this. And I have things from the freebies still floating around. I haven't used those. Mm. I'm not sure what I want to put on. Oh, this is fun too. This is a freebie too. I really like this one, but I like this one too. Ooh, I'm going to change. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, that? Still not sure which one I'm going to use. Maybe this one? Yeah. I 
I like this picture better than the books. Um, like this one. I'm checking because this is probably too small now but if I put it on like so or like so it still can work yeah I like this better glue this half down I have it like this I think There's a little bit of glue over here to make sure not to glue on the envelope already. We have this. Put in. I want this on this side so I can glue this down too. This piece, which I still like, but I'm thinking maybe I should put it like this. Over here. Hmm. I think I like it best over here. Maybe like so. So, and I also want to put on this. Maybe I want it over here. Yeah, I do. And I also have the other strip of fabric. I wanted that over there, but maybe I'm going to put it over here. this now I want to add something over here too small thing butterfly and an extra piece of the butterflies I have these I have the guy I have these These larger ones, the books. Do I have a birdie left? No, I don't. Let me see. I like these. No. It's not going to work for me. Maybe this one, the smaller one. Yeah.
want this too. No, it's too much. I'm thinking um, a butterfly and maybe a word or something. So he's not going to be on this one. Also, I keep grabbing this one and then putting it away. Oh, I also have these. No. No, no, no. I have more butterflies, by the way. Maybe I can add... I don't know if I want to do it like this. Also the bird. I'm overthinking. Don't overthink. Um, maybe just over here. I'm going to put on this butterfly. <laughs> it's going to be there. <laughs> Don't uh, change. And I want to have a word on, but this is not what I want. I don't have a lot of large. Let me grab something else. Maybe one of these. Oh, I think this is even more pretty than this one. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to glue this over the the image that is already on. Because this is botanical. This is books and I have books so it's books and botanical. I really like this. Over here. So um, yeah I'm looking at the time that I have to film and it's starting to get to the end of the time that I have left. So I thought what if I just do the sewing off camera and the next time I make a video I can make the, the the huge tag that I wanted to create to go in to this pocket. Um, so we have a second video finishing off this. <laughs> I bend it this one. Finishing off the, um, the paper bag envelope we created. Um, maybe that's 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 a good thing to do. Um, I am thinking about adding some, it's not going to work, so I will do that later, um, some eyelets. Although I don't know where my eyelets are. I have the eyelet setter, but I don't know where my eyelets are. So yeah, that's a great start too. Um, I'm going to put them... No, I can't put the eyelets in because I have to sew. Otherwise, I'm going to sew over the eyelets. That's not not a good thing. Um, I'm going to punch the holes where I want the eyelets. But I do have to sew first before I can put them in. 
I want it this way. I keep forgetting that. Two over here. And I also have to think about when I did some sewing, how to cover up this. So first let me do the sewing, and then you will see me back. I did the sewing. I'm going to glue this down to this book page. Uh, although there's not a lot of text around. Mm, is this going to work? Well, it has to work. Yeah, it's going to work. <laughs> Because I really want to use my book pages. Gluing it on here. Going to do some tearing. Again. on the actual paper gluing this on I'm doing a combination of two glues to make sure it really stays on the envelope but also the sides are glued down properly otherwise it will come off and I don't want it to come off oh no no what am I doing I need to put in the eyelets I forgot Oh yeah, you see, this is not a tutorial because I'm making a lot of mistakes. There's glue everywhere now. And I have the other ones. Let me just do this that's easier so first put in the eyelets and then put on the glue When you try this, that's that's better because it's everywhere now. Oh. I have to squeeze this one. And these are two again. Oh, I really. Okay, let me quickly get something else. Where is it? Here it is. Couldn't find it.
I have a wax thread and a key charm. Trying to tie a knot and it not needs to be as close to the key as possible. So I'm not good doing a really good job. <laughs> I'm trying to speed up because of the glue and then things go wrong. Yeah. And I need to make sure it's like so. And I'm going to put it in here. Like so. Let's see. Yeah, something like this. And go back to the middle. Oh. Or not. Yeah, you should have done this all before you started gluing. I'm going to try to glue anyway. So I was out of frame. I'm really sorry about that. So now we have this. can even do like something like this to secure it. Something like this. These are very long, I know. I'm just going to tie it into a bow now. But you can put like um, little beads on also. But I'm going to leave it like this for now. And in the next video, um, we can create. Oh, I really like this. We can create a. Um, I, I do need to glue down this a little. I did glue it on out of the middle, I see, so hopefully I can move it just a little. I can also rip this off yeah that's possible so yeah this was a very messy craft with me Ooh. but i do like how the envelopes look like now Yeah, I'm quite happy with the result. So yeah, this is it for today. Um, a quite large, uh, larger envelope than the other ones. But yeah, they are fun. And they look pretty. So um, yeah, give it a try. And in the next video, I'm going to create a, a large tag. Or yeah, I'm going to create a tag because tags are so much fun to work with. And then you're going to slide it in here and i also want to think about a closure maybe it's going to be uh, like a wrap around thingy um, i don't know yet um, or maybe like with a tap and then do the same thing like these adding a few beads over here but yeah this is it for today i hope you liked the video i hope you want to give it a try um Tag me when you do on Instagram or put it in the Facebook group so we can all see. And if you have any comments or suggestions or you just, you just want to tell me that you like the video or if you want to see me do something different, um, write it down below and I will respond. And
and yeah thank you very much for watching uh i hope to see you the next time stay safe stay creative greetings from the netherlands bye 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 Thank you.